Hello, this is Aloy, and I'm going to show you how to do one of these Celtic designs, like a weave. And so we'll start, this is pretty much the end product, and you'll be able to see it in three dimensions. If you turn it a little bit to the side like this. See? So let's start. I'm going to go back to the origin. So we'll go back over here, and I'm going to start. I'm at the meter scale, and I'm going to go one meter. Uh, just it's easy to remember. So go one meter on the view uh, camera. I'd like to be on uh, parallel projection, and uh, I use the top view right there. Okay. Next, I use this uh, this margin maker, and I code down. Oh, maybe a little bit, not too much. You can decide which side you like, maybe to here. And I'll draw across a horizontal line. And I'll use this to form like an equilateral triangle. So then I take this and I'll make a group out of the bottom half, like that. Then I'll change. So I'll make a copy of this. And change angle so it comes up and touches the green line right there. And now I'll do the same on this side, except I'll bring it up the other way. And put this here. And let me select that line there. There we go. And now I did that, I'll make a group out of that. And I won't make a copy of this, and I'll just twist it up. I mean, turn it till it comes up like this one. There we go. Now I'll break up the groups. This is using SketchUp. The same idea of using a compass. You can the same. I'm not using any measurements or actual angles. You could say, I mean, measured angles. So I'll explode. So it's much like a compass, if it's, but it's a lot more convenient. And then I'll make this bigger, like this. And now what I'll do is I'll get rid of these uh, equilateral triangles. So I'll go over here. And I'll actually get rid of all this that's up here. I think I'll clip it there. And go to here. There we go. I'll clip to get rid of all this. And there we go. Clip it. And somehow I got rid of this bottom one, but I'll just restore it with the arch tool. There we go. And now I'll get rid of this bottom part here and clip it up. And there you have your basic Celtic leaf, three leaf clover like. So I like to open these up so you get some feel. There you go. One more, two more. Okay, now you can tie these together with itself in various ways. I'll show you one way that I connect them. There you go. I can make a group out of this. Now, before we do that though, let's go here. We need to get one to go under and over. So, if I like to take this one to go over, so you see it's gone over. why that filled in but let me just combine it okay then back there we go now I'll erase these two okay now since this was over this has got to go under so I'll do the other side yeah and clip that and over here 
This is over, so this must go under. So I'll clear this side out. There we go. That's pretty nice. Now I'll make the group. And there's the group. And I'm like this. And I'll make copies of this. One way to do it is look at this loop here and try to make another loop. So we'll just make a copy and, and turn it. So I'll make a copy here. And turn it. And there, you see there's kind of a loop right there right here is a kind of a circle and I'm going to uh, turn it I'm going to put it side by side a little bit more like here and I'll spin it a little bit I mean open it I'm going to open it to here there we go and it's pretty close now uh, I want to get this sort of an extended circle here, not quite a circle. Let me move it over a bit. Something like that. There we go. So that this makes uh, a circle. Oh, I'll show you how to connect the two. Um, I will take the group out for now. And I'll take this little piece out. I'll connect this from here to here. Okay. And uh, so we can see if this is over, this one should be under. Okay. Let me get rid of this piece. And this goes under. This goes over. Yeah, cool. Now I'll highlight all of it. Uh, I'll make it make it into a group. Move it. I'll kind of center it. All right. Now I'll make a copy of all of it and turn it like this. There we go. Now I'll get it like that. I'll zoom out a bit. See what it looks like. Okay. I'm going to make it a little bit separate a little bit more. Uh, I'll do it right here. And I'll combine this part right here. So I'll get rid of the group for now. And I'll connect the line from here to here, connecting the two branches. And I'll get rid of this and this piece. I'll connect this back up. Let me move it up so you can see it. Yeah, and now I'm showing them how to do this part. And I will connect this piece straight up so it kind of meets up with this guy and so now and that's the way we can connect it and we make a group now I'll move it up together and we're almost done so I'll take this piece here and move it up directly there we go and I'll trace it just a little bit so it will open up just a little bit like that. Yep, and then this one I'll have to make it touch to over here. And we'll make this connect from one side to the other. And so I'm going to get rid of the group right now. Get it group explode. And over here too. Now what I'll do is I'm going to take this center line, straighten it out so that they meet like this. And uh, connect it from here to here. There you go. Double knot. And now I'm going to go over here and clear it out. The line here. And I'm going to make another. And now I'm going to clear this out. You can't make a hurricane. You see this knot now? 
Okay. To see if this is double knotted. Okay, now wait a minute. Let me finish. I'm almost done. And now, let's take a look at the whole thing and see if it goes over, under, over, and over. And check it out. You'll see it should be just perfect. I'll twist this over here so that you can straighten it out a bit. Actually, I want to check this out. There. Oh. You see how that looks? No, oh, that's not quite what I wanted. Uh, uh, there we go. And let me make a view from the top. Well, it's close enough, I suppose. There. Now, if you want, you can continue there. I'll go back to the camera and I'll go to perspective. Yeah, there's one over here that's green. So you can grab this one change the angle and now make it 3D. Now you make it 3D. Well right now it's flat but you go into it and you use this pull, pulling tool and you go up as much as you want. You want to do that and then if you continue side by side it won't it'll lock onto that measurement, see? Wow. So you can go up That's like that. That's going to take a long time. That'll take a long time but it's easy because it's locking onto that one measurement so that you don't have to, you can go through it fast. There we go. See how it's keeping everything within the same distance, uh, same thickness. There, let me back out. And we'll come in here. That's cool. There. And there. Now I'll turn it so you can see it a little bit sideways. Move it up. And if you like, you can highlight it okay. all. And now what we're going to do is put some color. So if you like purple. Yes. And here we go. Boom. Oh, that's beautiful. Is that cool? Yeah. And there you have it. Uh, that's one. Well, and you can keep connect these up over and over. So let me finish this out. And now, let's see what happens. Okay, thanks. Take a look at my other videos. Subscribe to...